I am the kawaii monster. I would describe my look as magical monster girl, very cute and pastel, but then mixed with creepy cute aesthetics. I have over a thousand plushies. I've had people tell me, why can't you just look normal? Or wow, people really go outside looking like that. I dress up in alternative and Japanese fashion every day. I live in my cute world with my three cats. I love kawaii, pastel, super feminine clothing and aesthetics, but then I also love everything that's like creepy and cute. So in the morning, it only takes me about mm, one and a half to two hours to do my makeup, depending on the look that I'm doing. I always do like the heavy pink um, blush and pink nose because I feel like it makes me look like I'm like a different creature and not completely human. I have been dressing in alternative fashion for as long as I can remember, but this style I've kind of put it together over the past couple of years. I have always loved anime. Anime is like my main inspiration, specifically magical girl anime. I love Monster High dolls and Monster High is like the epitome of like creepy and cute but glamorous and pretty and that is exactly what I aspire to look like. I collect loads of different toys, specifically like plastic toys or anything that's cute or Japanese or sometimes vintage as well. Teddy bear that my friend made has so many eyes. I have over a thousand plushies. Um, most of them are stored away because I just don't have any room for them, but they're something I've collected my whole life. I find them really comforting and just aesthetically pleasing. Here I have a lot of my monster claws and paws. I have these ones, they're like full paws, so they go completely over your hands. It has built-in paws and the paws can zip off. I usually wear my shoes like the whole day. If it's like a small day, I might wear something like this because they do hurt after a while. And I have more kind of comfortable shoes for like a very long day. And they're like Bratz Ski Edition. They are so cool. Personally, I'm willing to suffer a bit for fashion and beauty, but I think fashion is all about your own comfort zone, so you shouldn't have to push yourself if you don't want to. This is very gothic Lolita, and it has a cute Halloween print. Halloween's my favorite holiday. This with any outfit is my favorite. Today, I'm going to the park with my best friend, Charlotte. I would describe Charlotte's look as basically the polar opposite of me. Very dark, gothic, punk, very edgy, very cool. Hi. Hi. You look great. Oh, you look so good. <laughs> you Hi. look awesome, honestly. Let's go. <laughs> and I have a teacup for you. <laughs> Thank you. A massive one. <laughs> We've known each other for about four years now. <laughs> we would see each other like at house parties or like at the club, <laughs> but we never like knew each other personally. And then one day I was like, why aren't we friends? And you were like, I don't know, why aren't we friends? <laughs> and we just never looked back. Good times. I'm a marshmallow. I am a marshmallow. I've had people tell me, why can't you just look normal? Or wow, people really go outside looking like that. It's just, they're so close-minded. If you have to care about how another person chooses to dress, I think you're insecure in yourself. In public, we do get a few odd looks here and there. Generally, I don't seem to notice it anymore because it happens all the time. 
I do get people message me and because I guess I have such a different look, they almost want to see it in an explicit way and they do pester me for that kind of thing. I think it's creepy that there are people who fetishize like Japanese fashion or things that are supposed to be very innocent and just cute and, and girly and stuff like that. There's nothing inherently sexual about anything that I do personally or other people who dress this way. It'd be interesting to hear what you thought of their fashion sense today. It looks fantastic. I love it. I'm not too sure it looked that great on me, <laughs> but oh. Or Benji. Or Benji. I love it. Why not? It's good to be different. We're going to take some pictures of each other for Instagram. Oh, the lighting's really good there. Yeah, it's just fierce, waist looking snatched. <laughs> I think they absolutely look fantastic. I thought it was a wedding. <laughs> I'm hoping it might be a wedding. <laughs> but just go with it, girls. Just dress how you want to dress. Be who you are not what society tells you to look like. <laughs> be whatever you want to be. Life is short and people should dress how they truly want to if I live my best life and you should always express who you are. That was cool. Yeah. That was like weird. Why does it look so good? Like, <laughs> like I, obviously you look good, <laughs> but like... <laughs> The background looks so like popping today. I love this picture of me. These ones, I think I like that one the most. I look like a cute little creature. I definitely want to try pushing my look even further, painting my skin different colours. I want to get real fangs and possibly even get my ears pointed. I will dress this way my whole life because this is my most true self. My look empowers me. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.